Hi, I'm Cider Spider, and I'm on a journey to get every available achievement in Final Fantasy XIV. This monumental grind takes countless hours of gameplay over the span of several years, and I'm taking it on one week at a time. So, let's get started. Alright my friends, we have got a couple of goals this week. First things first, after we finished 50 Dariadas last week, today I'd like to work on Operation Eagle's Nest 3, which is 50 clears of Castrum Lacus Lixor. As you can see, I'm 43 out of 50, we've got to get 7 of those. So that's going to be quite a lot of southern front grinding, that ought to be fun. Additionally, on the way to that, I will be getting Machinist level 90, we're currently at 80. So, you know what that means. It's time to get serious. Let's do this. I'm pretty confident I will not gain 10 levels in Bosia just from 7 Castrum Lacuses. So I'm gonna go ahead and queue up for my leveling roulette, and oh my god. Average wait time 12 minutes. Oh, right. This is what it's like to be a DPS. Y'all really live like this? Like, like, what, what, what do you do? Alright, well, I, I need to buy some gear anyway. I finally found a use for my poetics. Oh, snap! Right on time! Malik as well. I haven't run this in a very long time. Uh, now might be a good time to mention that. I don't really remember how to play Machinist, so I, I guess we're gonna figure this out on the fly. It'll probably be fine. I'm a DPS, so nobody cares if I suck. They can't even tell, probably. Alright, let's see. Uh, oh, I've got Drill. Uh, a flamethrower. Maybe I should just do that. You think anyone will notice? Oh, there's just too many buttons. I'm trying, gamers. I'm trying. Listen, I play healer. Do you know how many buttons I have to press to do damage? Usually one. Oh my god, I just realized I had a free gauge button I haven't been using. Yeah, let's use that. Alright, easy. Oh look, ugly pantaloons. Yeah, gonna pass on those. Bro, are the glams here even real? This job's kind of fun when you remember how to actually do it. I like the part where I build the gauge and then I spend the gauge. Oh god, it's this guy. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Reassemble. Drill! Hiya! Alright, it's my favorite time. It's time to use the gauge! Time to use the gauge! Alright, well, it's fun while it lasted. Man, the more I see the bosses in this place, the more I realize it's been a very long time since I've run this dungeon. <laughs> Bro, I was not in that. Are you kidding me? Running into safe circles. <laughs> Did storage predict harvest dance? Ooh, music. Yay! Okay, bye. Okay, but before I add this to my collection, how much is it actually worth? Alright, I thought so. Well, put it on the playlist. Oh, by the way, there's another achievement that I can get right now. Check this out. I've been forgetting about this for weeks. Wow, look at that. I completed level 30 field exploration. Good job, retainer. Uh, do it again, idiot. But what about this one? Oh look, I completed level 25 field exploration. Can't someone else do it too? Five points. Bam! I'm such a gamer. I'll be real with you guys, I always forget about retainer ventures like forever and so I never ever do them. There's an achievement for getting 500 of them done and I just hit my 50th one after almost three years of gameplay. So <laughs> I really gotta remember to get on those. Now you can do quick ventures which only take like an hour so this achievement isn't as bad as it might seem. One day I'll finish leveling my retainers but not this day. Anyway, so how much XP do we get from that leveling roulette? Well, the better part of a level, but we still have a long way to go. But I know just the thing to give me the rest of that level. My goodness, it is nice to come back to Shadowbringer's zones. There's this odd sort of nostalgia that I get every time I come back to Shadowbringer's content, and I just want to do more of it. I miss Shadowbringer so much. <laughs> Talk to our good friend Weenie. Alright, and there we are. So the fairy daily quests, uh, they, they max out at like level 80, but it's still a good amount of XP, and it basically doing all of your pixie dailies even after you've entered Endwalker is like an extra free hippo quest. Beaver. I ain't get drilled, idiot. That wasn't so bad. Alright, anything else out here I can shoot? Well, this is certainly high up on the list. So tell me, how do you guys like your Fuka? I'll accept any answer except medium rare. Okay, and for about five minutes worth of effort, let's see how we did. It's two sacked Fukas, uh, uh, something about a beaver, and also, I killed some guy. Yay! Aw oh, man, I still didn't level up. What a waste of time. What a waste of time. Well, you know what that means. It's just about time to go to Thabner anyway. 
That's okay, I can always use more bicolor gems. There sure ain't a lot of self-heal on Fizz range, is there? I should know that's not true, Dancer's got plenty. Can we give Machinist like a juice box or something? I need some heals. Listen, there's gotta be something useful in that lunch pail on my hip. I'm just saying, if Dancer can get curing waltz, I feel like Machinist can get juice box. It's time, Square Enix. All right, let's dump all my mitts. I'm a tank now. All right, we are gaming. There we go. Machinist level 81, off to a great start. Anyways, I gotta see a man about a hippo. About an elephant? Whatever, just give me the quests. Ah uh, yes, nothing like scraping fish poo-poo off the walls of the jungle toilet. We are truly playing a game. This video is Game AF. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and murderize, uh, whatever this thing is. With a gun. There's just something unexpressibly awesome about being in a fantasy world of might and magic and just shooting everything with a gun. This is why I played Heavy Gunner in Maple Story 2. All right, got those things taken care of. Finally, a job I'm suited for, shaking down the locals for their lunch money. Pay up, you elephantine bastard. Yeah, that's right, he's gonna pay. Yeah, it's pretty clever hiding in a cave, but I'll tell you what's a lot less fun. Hiding in a cave without kneecaps. Don't pay your debt, moron. Okay, bye. Well, aren't you a tall order? You're gonna be a lot less tall when your ankles are broken. Go pay your bills. Okay, bye. Baby debt collector is big successful. All right, turn these on in. Clean the toilet. Quest complete. Shot at stuff in the jungle. Quest complete. Shook down chumps for cash. Quest complete. So yeah, there's another half level, not a bad start. I could probably do more roulettes to get a bunch more of this, like, pre-leveled before I go into Bosnia, but I'm lazy. So speaking of Bosnia, let's head in that direction. But while we get started out here, let's uh, talk about the grind a little bit. So, one reason that I keep coming back to Bosnia, this is also where you go to grind the Shadowbringers relics. There are five steps of the relics after you finish all the one-time steps, and each one of those steps requires a different amount of a different item. So for the southern front where I'm at right now, we have these, these first three colors of gem, yellow, blue, and red. You need 20 of each of those for the first step, and so for all total, the uh, remaining relics I have here, I'm going to need 240 of each of the yellow, blue, and red gems. So I'm going to hang out in this lower zone until we hit 240 on the yellow gems, and then we'll be done. Then I'll move into the middle zone, and then so on. You'll also see the green gems there. You get those for doing leveling roulettes, but they also can drop randomly here on the front. I have far more than I ever needed because I got them all by doing leveling roulettes. I am technically done on that step already. The final gem, the weird rock-looking thing, is what drops from Castrum Lacus, which is the big raid for this zone. Every time you clear it, you get, I think, three of them. And for those ones, I need 210. So as you can see, we're at 159 right now. We've got a little bit of a ways to go, but we're not that far off. And wouldn't you know it, there's Lacus right there. We showed up at just the perfect time. Oh, here's our main man, Sartovois of the Inferno. And there he goes, off to his home planet. Uh, I didn't dump my metal last time I was in Zadnor. I'm the worst gamer ever. All right, we are doing this. Is that another King Bean? That's not the same guy from last time. God, is this where all the Fall Guys champions go to retire? Bosia? Alright, so I'll try to give a short play-by-play -play just for anybody who maybe hasn't done this before and doesn't actually know what's going on, but uh, this is the large-scale raid for this zone of Bosia. And uh, for this first section, what's gonna happen here is we need uh, roughly equal amounts of people to go to the top side and the bottom side to try and get into the front door of this castle here. So the bottom side team is going to fight this uh, flying mech over here. The top team is gonna fight that big giant Zoids looking thing. I think our party's going top, okay. That's fine, the top fight is actually way more fun. Now the stipulation to this whole thing is that they both have to die relatively close together or the whole raid wipes. All right, I'm so distracted with my rotation just trying to remember how to play this job. I gotta pay attention to the mechanics. Watch this. Wee. Man, I love Baja. We're in. Now here's where the fun part actually comes in. Whenever I'm in this raid, I always run Lost Assassination, and I'm about to show you why. Ooh, treasure. 
All right, things in here are going to get really fun just as soon as we clear this never-ending trash wave. All right, so here's the important part. As soon as these gates drop, we have a very small window of time to save six hostages from being executed. If we save all six of them, we get more rewards. Our reward scales with the number of hostages we save. And assassination has a small chance to insta-kill any enemy if I hit them from behind. There he is. He got assassinated. <laughs> Alright, that's one hostage saved. Assassinate OP. Aw, oh, didn't proc. Oh, somebody else got it. Nice. Dude, we are such gamers. Usually you don't have time to do more than two rooms, so like anything beyond this point, it's just, it's in the hands of the rest of the Alliance. Lameo. So yeah, this is some of the most fun you can have. It's just <laughs> running around one-shotting these things with Assassinate. There's also Death. There's Lost Death, which works for mages and tanks, and that's really fun as well. From the look of things, though, I don't think our Northwest team made it. All I can really say is I did my part. Anyways, after you save the prisoners, you have to press buttons in every uh, hallway in order to open the door. So that's what we're doing now. Lameo. Unfortunately, Assassinate will not proc on anything past this point in the raid. So that, that's like, that, that's the last place for us to really have a ton of fun with it. But man, is it fun. Now this guy is the Sprout Killing MVP. I'm pretty sure he's like third year winner of the Sprout Killer Award. People that aren't ready for this guy, die a lot to this guy. We'll see if we get a cursed uh, combination or not. It's random what elements he's going to use for the whole fight, and there some combinations are much harder than others. Water and ice. Okay, this is actually easy. So all water does is push you to the side of the arena, and ice means that you need to not stop moving or you'll freeze. All right, it's, it's time for the test. Do we have any gamers? Oh, we didn't lose anybody, but it was real close. Yeah, I should have known though. After midnight, of course, it's gamers. And he's dead. Damage is pretty high this run. It's actually dying pretty quick. Oh man, it looks like we got five out of six on the prisoners. That's too bad. Oh well. Time for the final fight. See if we got a lion party or not. For the last fight, at some point, General Lion is going to appear and uh, eight people have to go and fight him. If eight people don't volunteer, he'll just choose people at random. So usually we decide ahead of time who it's going to be. It's actually not a hard fight, but people are intimidated by it. Oh man. Oh, look at this red mage just farming reses. All right, we're going in. All right, easy. <laughs> man, we really demolished this guy. <laughs> oh man, I'm so bad at machinist. All right, and we gained a level. Nice. That puts us up to level 82. All good stuff. Oh, I got music. I think it was worth a couple hundred grand. Fact check. False. That ain't bad. And yeah, that's basically all the important details. Now let's do it six more times. Oh my god. Check this out. So, I was in uh, Kurthus West working on my morning cardio. I always do my mining achievements during that. And what should pass by but a Heavensward hunt train? I don't think I have any of the Heavensward hunting achievements, so let's ride this for a little bit, see where it goes. Uh, cardio will never be the same. Oh man. Hey, we did get an achievement. Mark of Cloud and Ice A. Yeah, looks like I got every A rank in Kurthus. Sea of Clouds and As is Lot. Nice. Oh man, they're gonna do Stormblood next. I wish I could join, but I gotta get ready for work. That's alright though. We'll get them next time. Alright, so while I attempt to not die to this very angry dog here, it might be a good time to address some frequently asked questions, because there's a couple of points that came up a lot, and I thought they would be worth talking about. So as many people have pointed out, there are a lot of achievements in this game from earlier times, like 1.0 for example, old holiday events, old PvP modes that no longer exist, the original Diadem Challenge, achievements that cannot be obtained anymore. And that's why in the intro I say, I'm going after every available achievement. Ow. That was the wrong spot. And the good news is, they don't actually show up in the list, so if you missed out on an old seasonal event, it just doesn't show up on your achievement log. Furthermore, the collection websites, when it comes to rankings, do not include these temporary achievements. They only focus on the ones that are still obtainable. And so that's what I'm gonna do. We just check this out. If the achievement menu in the game pretends they don't exist, there's no reason for me to acknowledge them either. I'm only worrying about the ones that show up on the list. 
Okay. Another one that came up a lot was uh, Leave Quest. People were talking about all the unique Leave Quest achievements. I showed the tab in the previous video, but I didn't say out loud that I actually already have every one of those achievements. So every single, uh, you know, complete 100 unique Fisher Leave Quests. There's several of them for each job. I have every single one of those achievements, as you can see. So when I filter out completed achievements on my Leave Quest tab, all that's left are these three. Oh, look, Castrum Lacus is back. A lot of people also commented good luck on, like, you know, fishing achievements, because apparently those take forever, and, uh, believe me, I know. Finishing the fishing log is honestly something I kind of look forward to, but it is low on my to-do list. Relics and leveling are my primary focus right now. Oh yeah, one last thing from the comment section of the previous video. I asked during either font if dual black mage fire one spam in expert roulette was giga chad or giga cringe. And many of you answered. And so, we're going to finally settle this matter once and for all. So let's put it on screen now. In the red corner, we have Giga Chad. In the blue corner, we have Giga Cringe. And so, as you can see, Dual Black Mage Fire One Spam in Expert Roulette is certified cringe. Thank you to the community for helping lay this matter to rest. All right, it's time to find out if we're going to be top side or bottom side gamers. All right, here's here's a question for you guys this week. What type of gamers are you guys? Are you top gamers or bottom gamers? I'm asking in the context of Castrum Lacus, of course. Put it in the comments below. Top gamers or bottom gamers? Okay. We are doing the six-person Castrum. This should be fun. One good thing about the Bazi raids is that they scale to the amount of people in them. So if there's only six people, it's going to scale it for six people. So this is very possible. It's just going to be interesting. All right, since we only have one tank, uh, top side is going to be tanked by our red mage. But this is what's fun about Bazia. Because of the lost actions and the essences, you can actually do that. You could spec a DPS to have tank qualities. It's just, it's all kinds of fun. They really don't limit you on what you're able to do. So anyway, what we're actually doing on the, uh, the bottom side here is we have to protect this tunnel armor long enough for it to destroy the door. And the thing is, you can't heal the tunnel armor, and it can be destroyed. If it gets destroyed, the whole raid wipes. So it's kind of a soft enrage. Alright, we made it. Alright, any fun in the treasure chest? Uh, well, I got music. Last time I got music, I thought it was worth something. What are the chances this one is? <laughs> yeah, insert the clip. It's completely worthless. Alright, soloing hallways is what I was born to do. Cause dang it, I'm a gamer. I'm assassinate didn't proc. Might be too late to save this guy. Assassinated! <laughs> oh no! Oh, rest in peace, idiot. Water fire is pretty cursed. So for fire, you have to stop moving or you take damage. But water obviously pushes you around, so your instinct is to readjust. But if you do, you're gonna end up like this guy. You're getting hit. Man, I hate pyretic. Oh no! Alright, that wasn't so bad. One death for the whole thing ain't that bad. It's a shame about the sixth hostage, though. One of these days we'll save that chump. Now this one should be fun. When you don't have enough people for the lion fight, one person will always get left behind to fight the bird alone, and there's gonna just be an absolute swarm of ads slapping them. So basically, five of us will have to go fight lion, and ideally the tank stays behind. Otherwise, whoever gets left behind has a very high chance of dying. Up we go. Ooh, we lucked out. Okay, the tank got left behind. Oh, we beat him already. <laughs> wow. Man, everything feels like it's going in slow motion after uh, overcharge ends. <laughs> All right, we did it, and we got another song. Does this drop every time? No wonder it's so cheap. Gotta be real, Chads, it's been a long while since I've done this uh, critical engagement, so let's see if I still got it. But in the meantime, Glamour Report? Oh my god. Is that an Odin Chad playing Shadowbringers content? Now that is Giga Chad. We don't even need to put that one to the comments, because we already know the answer. Oh, right, I guess we should probably fight. All oh, right, those are gonna, ah, those are gonna do that. Um, oh, I messed it up. Oh, I'm about to mess it up again. Uh, oh, this is bad. Well, it looks like I won't be fighting Lion today. Good lord. Oh my god, we're up to five Volneys. I can't take a tower with five Volns, bro. <laughs> they don't go away, so it's just I live until I die. This is not good. This is what you might call certifiably not good. Meteor rain with five Volns means I'm probably going to die here. Oh no, I might live. Guys, I might live. 
I'm not taking that stack, bro. <laughs> I can't do it. Bro, I'm like so good at Machinist, I should make a job guide on this. Yay. I mean, it wasn't pretty, but I did live. As long as I survived, I consider it a victory. Anyway, the next cast from Lack is spawned. I'm just, uh, gotta finish this first. Oh, he's about to do it to him. Oh, <laughs> Oh, run, babies, run. Run, don't stand there, no. <laughs> oh, what a bunch of gamers. Let's get in there. It's cast room time. Okay, this one's got 25 people in it, so a little bit bigger than the last one. Oh, man, I gotta get more phoenixes. This ain't gonna be enough. <laughs> we seem to have a shortage of healers. I say, eh, who needs them? Apparently our damage down here is just a little too good, so uh, I'm gonna just chill. I imagine that has something to do with the fact that we appear to be all DPS. <laughs> I'm gonna have to invest in more phoenixes after this. I don't even remember what they, uh, what they drop from. Oh, here it is. Preparation. These are probably cheap. Nobody cares about these things. Let's see if we can do it this time. Oh, we can save him. Oh, it's not too late. Get assassinated, idiot. <laughs> Just call me John Wilkes' baby. I think we might have saved them all. Get this guy out of here. Acceleration bombs? What? I've never seen that before. Alright, it's time to separate the sprouts from the Giga Sprouts. Oh man. That wasn't even the, like the combination one. I'm gonna hold off on my last two Phoenixes because I feel like this raid has the potential to go very wrong. Alright, here it comes. <laughs> there they go again. We're basically fighting this guy with half our DPS tied behind our backs. It's okay, though. We're making it work. All right, got him all rezzed again? Perfect. Just in time for the next fireball to hit. <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> you only had to survive 1% more. All right, there we go. I can't help rez. I gotta save my feathers for the last fight. On the bright side, we did save all six prisoners, so that's pretty cool. See, look, I even got a music from it and everything. How many are gonna live? Oh, don't stand there, senpai! Oh! <laughs> Quadruple kill! The mass chaos of uh, some of these, these big player count runs, it makes it so worthwhile. It's a friggin' graveyard in here. Ah, all good fun. I almost got a level from that. 50 coins. It's a little underwhelming, but I'll take it. All right, before I go for another Castrum, I need to see if I can get more, uh, more Phoenixes. Oh my god, never mind. These are expensive AF. I'm not paying that much to res noobs. Check this out. There it is. Level 84. Well, it's that time again. Looks like I'm bottom gaming again. I don't know how this keeps happening. Water ice is a pretty boring combination, because it's very easy. Oh man, only four chests from this one. Very tragic. But I don't know, I mean, it's 2 a.m. We are tired gaming. All right, and it goes down. Almost to another level, it's pretty good. Is there anything fun in the box? No, it puts us up to 47 out of 50. I'll do the rest tomorrow, I'm going to sleep. All right, I've spent all day editing, and now we're clocking back in to the Bosnian Southern Front. Glamour report? Oh, the Odin Chad's still here. As long as he's here, our glam score will be on point. This is fine, this is fine, this is fine. Oh my god, it's fine. Oh snap, I qualified for the duel. I've got two notoriety, I will probably get it. Uh, this is gonna be awkward and cringe. Ah. Oh, I think I mistimed that. I don't know when I'm supposed to use excellence. But I don't think it was that. Uh-oh. No. Oh, I needed the excellence for that. That's what it was. Oh. Oh, we got re-raise. Uh, I don't know what this does. No. I hit the missile. Oh, I tried. Very sad. One of these days. All right, and that should be... BAM! Level 85. Making some good progress here. Uh, so anyway, if you're still watching, I'd like to ask, how long of a video is too long? Because like I said, I've been editing all day, and all the footage up to this point came out to like 27-ish minutes, which is already as long as the first video. And so I'm just curious, like, how much of this nonsense are you guys willing to sit through in a week? Because I have this paranoia that if the video gets too long, people just won't want to watch it. So yeah, please let me know. And what do you know, it's that time again. Let's make this one quick. Oh my god, it's beautiful. We saved all six prisoners. No special loot, though. Oh well. Alright, there's another cash room complete. No loot. Very sad. 
that is one metal fox down and level 86 machinist just in time for another cash room let's do it i believe in us and that is of course all six prisoners saved no special loot though and that's another cash room done oh no loot Oh, and here we are, the final Castrum Lacus. And we commence, and we're in. Go gamers, go! As long as Chad Odin is here, we're gonna be all right. Or as I like to call him, Choden. Assassinate the wolf, Lameo. All right, you guys know the drill. No man left behind. We're gonna save every prisoner, and we're gonna do it with style. All right, <laughs> nothing personal, kid, but, uh, get assassinated, idiot! Ha ha ha! Ah! I'm too powerful. I can't be stopped. My strength can't be measured on the scales of mere mortal men. Die! Ha ha ha! This is all right. Oh, somebody beat me to it. Who assassinates the assassinator? Assert dominance. Assert dominance. And now kill. And down he goes. Is that six chests I see? I think it is. But the important question is, what is actually in them? Junk, 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 and junk. Well, at least we got all six. Oh, careful, careful, oh no. Oh man, I never get to be on the lion team anymore. Oh man, he's out for blood today. Hang in there, kitties. We're gonna get through this thing. Oh, and there it is, Operation Eagle's Nest 3. 20 points. Good lord, we are gaming. Look at that, it's beautiful. Nothing in the box still. Oh, sorry, I also got level 87 machinist. Let's go ahead and try this one on for size, huh? Look at that, Siege Liege. It's pretty much better than any legend title. So yeah, I think that's enough Bazia for one week. But now we have the other problem to address. I'm still only level 87 machinist, and I need to get to 90. So how are we gonna solve that? Well, Let's find out. Oh, I said it's been a while. Oh my, we are about to be so devastated. Well, never mind, idiot. Well, that almost got me a level. Well, I guess that means it's back to Pixie Dailies again. Well, okay, that was a little bit of XP. Now it's hippo time. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. There's level 88. All right, I burned all my second chance points on Wondrous Tales, and here's where we're at. Don't let me down, Chloe. Chloe! All right, you know what time it is. A fitting death! Yeah, well, anyway, there's half a level. I'd be real, guys, I'm gonna leave this leveling roulette. <laughs> We're 10 minutes in on the first boss. I wanna spend 20 more minutes in here. Oh my god, I can't even leave during combat. Oh my god, how does this happen? I think I lose my leveling roulette if I leave it, but I don't care. I'd rather lose my leveling roulette than tolerate that. I'm not doing it. And there you have it. Level 89, Machinist. Tragically, I'm still locked out of all the roulettes for the next seven minutes, but I gotta be honest with you, the 30 minute penalty is shorter than the time I would have been stuck in there. And I got a bunch of bicolor gems, so I'm still winning. Yeah, I'll be real, it takes a lot to make me leave a dungeon, but consistent tank deaths resulting in consistent me deaths, it just wasn't gonna be worth the time. All right, and there's our last leave quest for the week. Let's go ahead and turn those in. And that brings us up to a total of 372 out of 500 for leave quests. Good progress. Okay, there's a leveling roulette done. That got me about halfway. And here are three more hippo quests. Bros, we are so close. Uh, sorry, Tony the Tiger, but I need my experience. Alright, bring us home, challenge log. Let's see it. There it is. Mean Machine 7. And that is Machinist. Level 90. Alright, let's speed run the outro. This video's getting long. By the way, I almost forgot. Here's my current Southern Front relic item progress after that grind. Cool. And that's gonna do it for this week. We got five total achievements for a gain of 45 points, so we're clocking out today with a listed score of 13,350. My world rank went from 364 to... 364. But wait a minute. There were only four achievements in this video. So what happened to the fifth one? Well, I got the treasure map achievement live on my Twitch stream, which you should go and follow if you're into that sort of thing. I stream every Sunday and sometimes on weekdays too. There's still so many grinds to come, so let me know if you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more. Meanwhile, I'm gonna get back to rage quitting leveling roulettes. One like equals one rage quit. Okay, bye.